Here is the clock, the Trumpton clock, telling the time steadily, sensibly, never too quickly, never too slowly, telling the time for Trumpton. Mannings, the printer, is making sure his watch is right. Here's Chippy Minton and his son, Nibs. Morning, Chippy. Hello, Nibs. Just off to work? Yes, says the carpenter. Going to make a notice board for Mr. Clamp. Very useful. I'm going to print some posters for the Fire Brigade band concerts. Good, says Nibs. We like the band concerts. Come on, Nibs. We'd better get started. Yes, Mr. Munning's watch is quite right. Now he's making sure that his printing press is quite right. All the metal letters are set in position. Printers call them type. Just one or two to be straightened up. I line up all the letters with spaces in between and clamp them in the printing press, a wonderful machine. Posters are in capitals, bold and fat and tall, but the printing in the daily news is often rather small. Now the inky roller comes down the type and back and makes the letters ready to be printed clear and black. <laughs> I check the pile of paper for every single sheet will be printed by the inky type with letters clear and neat. When they have a flag day, I print the little flags, notices and labels, and even paper bags. I make the letters stand up straight and keep the paper clean. Then the job will be as good as anyone has seen. Now, what have we got? Trumpton Park Fire Brigade Band Concerts every Thursday, 2.30 p.m. Lovely job, that. Nice and black, no smudges. Now to ring the fire station. Trumpton Fire Station. Hello, Captain Flack. Good morning, sir. Munnings here, the printer. I've just finished your posters for the band concerts. Would you care to collect them? Yes, yes, by all means. We'll pick them up right away, right away. The men will be delighted. <whistles> pew, pew, Barney McGrew. Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub.
that was quick work, sir, says Mr. Munnings. I was talking to you on the phone only a minute ago. Not bad, not bad, says Captain Flack. Four and a half minutes, all good practice, keeps the men on their toes, you know. These the posters? That's right, sir, says Mr. Munnings. And a lovely job they are, too, though I say it myself. Uh, I suppose you'll be getting Nick Fisher to put them up for you. He's a very good bill sticker, says Mr. Munnings. No, 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 we'll do it ourselves. Simple job, putting up posters. Anyone could do it. Good for the men in any case. Use their initiative and all that. But Mr. Munnings isn't so sure. Firemen are firemen, he says to himself, and bill posters are bill posters. I think he'd do better with Nick Fisher myself. <laughs> I want you two to put a poster on every pillar box in the town. Fireman Grub, sir, start pasting, if you please. But the policeman has other ideas about that. I'm afraid you can't do that, sir, says the policeman. What? What? Why not? asks Captain Flack. This pillar box belongs to the post office. Nobody else is allowed to stick anything on it. I'm very sorry, but it's against the law. Oh, says Captain Flack. Pity. Still, the law's the law, I suppose. Yes, sir, it certainly is, says the policeman. Good day, sir. Chippy Minton and his son Nibs have just finished the notice board for Mr Clamp, the greengrocer. Ah, says Captain Flack, just the job. Fireman Pew and Pew. Sir, sir. A poster on this board, if you please. Oh, I'm very sorry, Captain Flack, says Mr. Clamp, but that's my notice board. It's to let people know what's cheap today. Lemons five a shilling, fresh spring greens, that sort of thing. Oh, says Captain Flack, that sort of thing. I see. Pity. I expect Chippy Minton would make you a board of your own very cheaply, suggests Mr. Clamp. No time for that, says Captain Flack. These posters have got to go up at once. Never mind, we'll find somewhere. Come along, men. <laughs> Now then, here's a proper poster hoarding. There can't be anything wrong with this. A poster in that blank space, if you please. Man the engine. Drive to the wall. Elevate. Oh dear, it's Nick Fisher, the bill poster. Hey, he says, I'm afraid you can't do that, sir. What? What? Why not, eh? Because, explains Nick, the people who own that hoarding have to be paid when you stick a poster on it. You pay them, they pay me, and I stick the poster on. Absurd, says Captain Flack, quite absurd. Still, the law's the law. There's only one thing to do. Go home. Now, men, says Captain Flack, this fire station belongs to us, right? Right. In that case, declares the captain, we can certainly stick one of our posters on our fire station, right? Right. Good. Follow me. I want that wall covered with posters. Get pasting.
It's all very well for you to laugh, says Fireman Grub. You'd look just as funny trying to put out a fire. I expect I would, says Nick, but then I'm just a bill poster, not a fireman. Mr Fisher, says Captain Flack wearily, would you care to show us how it's done? By all means, says Nick. <laughs> Pasting up the posters, sticking up the bills, putting up advertisements for sausages and pills, flower shows and concerts, you can take your pick, all neatly stuck by Bill Sticker Nick. As I thought, says Captain Flack. Perfectly simple, once you know how. Still, perhaps it is best done by an expert. Would you help us out with the rest of the posters, Mr Fisher? It's a rush job, I'm afraid. Never mind that, Captain, says Nick. I'll have them all over the town in half an hour. My goodness, it's nearly time for the band concert. Fetch your instruments, men. We'll clear this lot up later. 